As Nevada State Police saying NCAA and Taylor Swift are prompting extra patrol. Ryan Matthew joining us live outside of Allegiant Stadium, where an early merchandise sale is currently underway. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, Brian Kirsten, are you ready for it? The fearless crowds that are expected here this weekend. Of course, uh, you and I both know those crowds all too well, but the music and sporting fans leaving no blank space on our roads and troopers telling drivers you need to calm down. It's me. Over 100,000 Swifties <laughs> and thousands of basketball fans more. This weekend, yes, we are anticipating a high volume of tourists coming to town. Across Southern Nevada, extra troopers scheduled to patrol both in town and near the California state line, says Trooper Ashley Wellman. So we're bringing troopers in for overtime, specifically for this weekend to do uh, driving under the influence, another grant that's funded by officer traffic safety, as well as the speed from uh, joining forces. 10 to 15 troopers typically scheduled for a swing shift. She says this weekend it's doubled. But those traffic headaches could consume the Southern Strip, especially with ongoing Tropicana construction nearby and the close proximity of the two venues. <laughs> At T-Mobile Arena, MGM Resorts and the NCAA expecting 19,000 people Saturday. Taylor Swift is my mother. An early merchandise sale outside Allegiant Stadium Thursday, giving a glimpse of the 50 to 55,000 Taylor Swift fans expected per night on Friday and Saturday. Fans like Emily Oofway are planning ahead. I scheduled a lift for after the show to pick me up to help with that. <laughs> Probably will still sit in traffic, but I'll at least like be in a car and not just like sitting on the sidewalk. Now, MGM Resorts is directing basketball fans to park at any MGM property. Allegiant Stadium, they have limited parking. There are two rideshare lots located just across the freeway, as you see here. It's both at the Luxor and Mandalay Bay, and that is acceptable or accessible, rather, by walking over the Hacienda Bridge. For now, reporting live outside Allegiant Stadium, Ryan Matthey, 8 News Now. It is acceptable as well, Ryan. You were correct. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan also reached out to Metro Police to ask about their plans. A spokesman told him, quote, it's like any other night in Las Vegas. State police urging drivers slow down, pay attention, and plan accordingly if drinking.